only 10% of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So please, if you enjoyed the video, make sure that you subscribe. Solo player takes over an island. It's a title that most Rust YouTubers have used at some point. But this isn't like any of those videos. Welcome to my island. I am the only one who lives here. Everyone else has either moved or gotten evicted by me. Although the island wasn't always this quiet. But for that, we will need to go back a few days. Big announcement. So I have teamed up with Apex Gaming to bring you three PCs. I get people asking me all the time what kind of PC they should get if they want to play Rust. And well, now you can get your very own IUK PC. Now maybe you don't like how I built the PC. Well if that's the case you can also customize your PC to fit your needs. Go down to the link in the description and use code IUK at checkout for 5% off. Also with this I will be doing a giveaway for $300. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is buy a PC. And then send me a picture for proof. Either in my discord server or twitter. So click the link in my description, use code IOK at checkout for 5% off and thank you to Apex Gaming for this amazing opportunity. It was four swipe and I had just put down my base on the island. I chose this island because of the new underwater lab right off the coast of it and the plan was to just run that and then raid anyone who builds on the island. Okay, let's check out this island. I'm hoping that this island will be pretty chill, because this could either be the most fun wipe ever, or it could be the most annoying wipe ever. Luckily we have lighthouse right here, so we will always be able to recycle here. I'm gonna need a boat, I'm pretty sure. Because, first of all, I'm gonna need a bridge over to like outposts and stuff like that. But for now, a boat will have to do. Okay, let's head over to Harbor and get a blue card. so dead there's so many of them This is so fucked.
No way. Oh my f god Damn That was intense Whew. But you have uh, you have the spear gun research from the start. Do you need to research that? Oh no! You need to research that. I'm gonna scrap all the components from this at lighthouse. That's so good. Get out of my fucking island, mate. Now, up to this point, I hadn't had many visitors to my island. But as time went on, more and more people tried to move in. Get off my island, okay? It's mine. I headed over towards a nearby fishing village to buy a diving set. I should have just let them pass. Fuck. What the? They were fucking. Bro, what the f? No, they have. Oh, those guys can be. Okay, we need to. We need to, we need to take care of those guys right now. Okay. Yeah, we need to get rid of those guys right now if we can. Now I'm pretty sure they just live in a wooden base, so hopefully we can get rid of them pretty easily. What the? Oh my god.
big gains. Oh, that's huge. Now we don't need to farm. Yes! With the resources from this side, did some upgrades to the base. I have no clue what base design this is. I'm just doing something random. Hopefully it will turn out good. Bro, bro. Why are you doing more? Ты шалава ебаная, твою маму ебал, черт блядь. I headed back over to the base of the people that had killed me before to see if I could go deep on them. Yeah, there's no way I can go deep on that. Fuck. No way. No shot. Oh my god. Okay. Kinda worked. Okay, so right now we need a red card. I bought a diving set using the drones. Nice. Oh, okay, we finally have a diving set and we can go over to the labs. Like, that's all I wanted for today, is to go down and check out the new labs. I want to see if it's actually good. Because I've heard both. Like, some people say that it's super OP, it's going to be super OP, and then some people have said that it's trash. Please, no sharks, though. Like, please, I know that they've added sharks too. This can be so scary if I run into one of those. Please, no sharks. <laughs> oh, this is way scarier than I thought, actually. Now that there's sharks involved. I don't even know how you get in. I know that you have to be underwater, but everything else, complete mystery. It looks really cool though. Jeez. How to get up? Oh, fuck. Oh. 
This is cool though. Ooh. This is really cool. <laughs> God damn. Bro, this is so cool. It's actually a lot of loot. I'm gonna have to let's okay, let's clear it and then we can check. What's whoa? So much crude oil from this, I feel like. Bro, I feel like this is worth looting just even without like the red card. I wanna see how the red card room is now. Where's the red card room? Yeah, you 100% need a green card. Well, let's go home with this and then let's, let's come back. Not sure if I checked out everything, but we'll be back. I grabbed all the cards and then I headed back to the underwater laboratory. What the fuck? <laughs> you can sit down on the toilet. There's three different green card rooms. And there's nothing in them. That's What the? Red card? Hello? Hello? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Let me the fuck out! Oh, it's so laggy! I'm gonna die by lag! I'm gonna die, die by lag! I'm gonna get, die because of lag! I'm gonna die because of lag! Oh my god! From these lab runs, I got a lot of components. Look at these components. Like, we have a lot of components right now. So, I grabbed most of them and headed over to Outpost to recycle. Very nice. Okay. Craft level 2 workbench here. Hello, Posty. Okay, so we have a level 2 workbench now. I think I'm just gonna keep going back with a DB and crossbow and farm up a bit more scrap. Because if we can get a level 3 workbench done today, like that's so big. Because then tomorrow, like all we need to do is farm some sulfur and then we can raid. The next two hours were spent just running the labs. Ooh. Nice. We have so much components. Uh, all right, I guess. I was not ready for that. A big group started roaming the island.
Oh my god, there's so many of them. What? <laughs> Please don't tell me they live on this island. It's gonna be so annoying. I have the boys outside. We need to get roof access on this base ASAP to deal with situations like this one. Bro, what the fuck? There's like five of them. Yo, my dude. SA. We just want to talk. Open the window. Listen, listen. Listen, give us your gun, and we don't blow your base the fuck up, okay? Hmm. Give us guns, and we don't, we don't, we don't camp outside your base the whole time and kill you anyway and take it. All right, open up. Sounds like a bad deal. Now, bro, listen, you get to play Rust and keep your base, or we get. The fucking guns. Wow, there's like fucking 15 of them. Wow. Okay. I just wanted to know where they were. Fucked. Okay, it's time to get roof access in this place. But naked, I've been standing there for so long. He's definitely scouting out my base. Okay, I haven't actually checked out my uh, my island here. I want to see where that big group was was coming from. Fuck! Oh, I thought it lived here. Oh, yes. That's literally just what I needed. We need more metal francs. Sure. 
I ran labs a few more times. Then my neighbors came over and started talking to me. Fucking no player. Cancer of shit, you. You are so fun. Come to me. Fucking idiot. I haven't camped you. You camped me. No, no camp. No, no camp. No, no camp. You camped me. Yeah, man. Yeah, kill you. Because you're bad. All the time. Yeah. It's not my fault. Okay. You have a uh, M3, M35? Huh? Weapon versus uh, bow? Huh? 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 Yeah, I can't hear what you're saying. Alliance. Uh, no, I'm solo. Yeah. But uh, Alliance win. You need to help. Uh, if you need, yeah, we uh, we solo. You need, and you solo. But if you need help, you can you can come here to help. And okay. Don't kill. Yeah, I'll try to not kill you, but yeah, 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 I'll try to not kill you, but no idea what he said. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. They said something about an alliance and that they were solo players. Other than that, I'll try not to kill them, but I'm not gonna join any team. They seemed pretty new to the game, so as long as they didn't annoy me, I would be friendly to them. I headed over to Outpost with all of the components and crude oil I'd gotten from running labs. We are loaded. I did labs one last time. Oh. Then I crafted up a flamethrower so that I could do some early game raids. Okay. So right now, all I really need is sulfur and farm. So I'm just gonna raid all the wood bases on this island. Oh, don't tell me this clan that I fought lives down in a cave. That would fucking suck. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna take my one C4 that I just got. And I'm gonna actually check if they're being... Because they might feel really safe down in this cave. Safe enough to where they will have all the loot behind one door. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna go down here and check. Let's just hit these real quick. Oh my. Uh, what the? You gotta be fucking joking me, really? Well, okay, let's do this raid.
I don't want to give them this info. I'm just going to hide it here. Such a good start. All to get fucked by a compound bow. I crafted a level 3 workbench and then an MP5. Then I headed back to get the C4 I dropped. There's one or two more, I know that. At least one more, somewhere. Yep. <laughs> Luckily, we got our guns back. We lost all the resources from the flame raids, but we can farm that. This is probably a bad idea. Like, there's probably gonna be a second door, but it's worth checking. Like, it's one C4 that I got for free, so I don't really care. Okay. Yep, well, as I... I mean, that was what I expected, but it was worth it. It was a free C4, so I don't really care. We have a level 3 workbench, we have enough components for an entire wipe, and so hopefully tomorrow we can do some, we can do some raiding. That's the, that's the hope. Maybe we can even bait like an online raid, if we just keep pissing people off. But yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we're not offline raided. And so I went off for the day. But I had gotten a lot done. I had a level 3 workbench. And I had asserted my dominance on the island. Now for day 2 it was time to secure the island and start getting rid of all the people living on it. First hour of day 2 was spent farming. Then with the farm I honeycombed the base. Then Heli came out, and so I tried to take it down. No! No, it's... B no way. Actually, fucking... What? Oh, he's cheating. That's sick. <laughs> he's... Uh, he's cheating. 
Oh, they didn't. They didn't loot me. It was a pretty shitty way to start day two. But I continued making some upgrades to the base and then I headed over to do laps when I saw a group coming in on a submarine. This, I'm just gonna leave. I did some more farming so that I could secure my base even further and put a compound around it. My island. Actually, with this donation from them, I can probably build a bridge. Because I want to build a bridge over to the mainland. With this bridge, I would be able to access outpost much easier. Then I started placing down the wall that someday would surround the entire island. This was a start, but I had a long way to go, and so I kept on farming. I 
I feel like getting rid of these guys first is a good idea. Because I'm pretty sure those guys were the guys that door camped me in the beginning and all of that. I grabbed all the stone I'd farmed and then I headed over towards outpost to trade it all in for wood. I mean, if he if he if he's gonna be fucking annoying, he has to go. Like he's stopping me from getting over this the bridge. What the fuck is going on? Fuck off! Everyone's just being annoying as fuck. At least I got back most of my stone. I lost two rows of stone, but like stone isn't a problem. Like it's so easy to farm out there. At this point, I had acquired a lot of gunpowder. So I crafted all of it into explosives and then that into rockets. Then it was time to start evicting people from the island. And first up was these guys. It was the same people that had killed me yesterday when I was flame raiding. So I felt like they would be a good threat to get rid of first. Well, more explosives. Let's go. I mean, I need charcoal, so I'll take that. Okay, let's see it.
I mean, not worth it, but... I secured the base and then I transferred all the loot over from their base to mine. Definitely wasn't worth it, but they were being annoying, so they needed to go. I also raided their boat base. After this, I still had a few rockets left, so I continued raiding. Well, hopefully this raid will be worth it at least. Does not look good. Yikes. Oh my god. Can we secure this? Holy... Oh my god. What? I think these guys have been forming labs. I sealed the base and then I transferred the loot to my base. Well, this was definitely worth it. <sighs> that was a good raid. There was a raid that was actually worth it. Okay, I am ready to go to bed. I've gotten rid of three bases right now. But we have a lot left to do tomorrow. But I've been up for way too long. And I am tired. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, again, we're not raided. And we'll just pick it up from there. And so day two on the server ends. And it had been a really successful day if I do say so myself. I had gotten rid of a few bases on the island and I had done more farming than I'd like to admit. Which was pretty sad because I had basically gotten nowhere with the wall. And so for day three I had a lot of work in front of me. Okay. We're good. We're not raided. In the morning I'm gonna go around the island and just see who's moved in. If there's any new bases that I have to raid. I got a quick reminder that this isn't my island yet. Uh so that's a new base, we have to raid that one, that's a new base, that's a new base, fuck, <laughs> we've taken care of three bases and now we have three new bases, we didn't need to raid this base, that's decayed because we raided that base I guess, yeah this base is still here. Okay, this place is still mine. Okay, so we still have this. This space. That might be like. 
that could be expensive. Like K bases are so unpredictable. Like that could be fucking expensive. We have to raid that one today. Because tomorrow it might be too late. They might have upgraded it too much. So we have to get some good raids in today. And profitable raids and just farm our asses off. Okay, and we have this one. So we have one, two, three, and four. Four bases. One, two, three, four, five bases left. Like these these are the ones that they're easy. I can get them done in no time. Most of them are just like four rocket raids. So those ones easy. It's the K base I'm a bit worried about. So I guess let's just get to farming. We've done like nothing. Oh my god, it's gonna take so much wood. I mean, I'm so happy you can trade in uh, stone for wood because there's no way I would have been able to do this. Otherwise, like, no way. I feel like if I can get a few more walls down, uh, it's gonna be too hard for people to come and counter any raids up over here. Oh, someone thinks, thinks they're funny. Someone thinks I'm not serious. Okay. I mean, pretty sure I can just go like around like in the water should still be good I spent the next hour just farming stone and then trading it in for wood at outpost A lot of bases had popped up as I was offline, so it was time to start getting rid of them. I need a ladder. Okay. Then I'm gonna craft a flamethrower. Fuck!
Haha. -ha. Bitch. After dealing with the counters, I finished the raid. Luckily I didn't have to raid all the new bases on the island since some of them decayed. Then Heli was out so I tried to take it down again. That was so perfect. Legit right outside my base. That's a hacker. Amazing. Fuck! There's no way I'm beating these guys. Well, like that, that just. This sucks. What a fucking way to lose. Lose the heli. Uh, crates for shit anyways, there was th three pistol bullet crates. Uh, that's what you fucking get. Now, as demotivating as this was, I had to keep going. Okay, we need to raid those guys before we continue walling. We've gotten really far. I'd say maybe a fourth. Fourth of the way down. Yeah, I'd say a fourth. Yeah, definitely a fourth. So the plan right now, I think, is to get rid of those guys down there. Because we literally can't continue that way without getting rid of them. I saw a wooden door on the base. I'm going to go over with a flamethrower first. Two rockets to begin with. We're probably gonna need more, but it's a start.
Okay, we need one more rocket to get into the 2x1. But first I can use a flamethrower to get through some doors upstairs. finish this. Hopefully it's only one rocket. And then we have the base. And with this base gone, I could continue the wall. When out farming, I ran into a familiar person. Bro, are you kidding me? How is that not detectable? Aim bought me, then he jumped from the helicopter and just went and looted me. Because I got looted like 10 seconds after they had killed me. Okay, I'm gonna take a break for a little bit, for like an hour. Like, I'm not gonna go on another roam if he's just gonna fly over with the helicopter and just be me. Like, that's not how I'm gonna lose. I'm not gonna farm for like 30 minutes and then lose like that. I went AFK for about 40 minutes and when I came back, the hacker was banned. Would you look at that? He's gone. <laughs> yes. Uh... Now with the hacker gone, I could continue my work. I really wish I had a M96 for this. I don't know why my game- I need to restart my computer. The game is lagging. It's so laggy. Fucking go down. Jesus. Hopefully if there's a fight, my game doesn't freeze. And hopefully that hacker didn't come back on a second account. Because that would also suck. <laughs> Third heli I take down. But the first crates I actually get to loot. Stop freezing! Oh. 
maybe it was all worth it. Ah, <sighs> yes. <laughs> okay, finally. So many helis. But the first loot, we didn't get an M2. But two C4 rocket crates, that's uh, that's nuts. I could have picked one of the small islands and I would have been done by now, but no. I had to pick the biggest fucking island on the server. <laughs> Now, do you remember that group that I fought in the beginning of this video? They were also the group that tried to counter me when I was raiding. Now, I had no plans on raiding them. I had my hands full trying to raid everyone on this island. So I thought it would be impossible to raid them too. But then about 8am in the morning, I started hearing satchels coming from their base. Someone trying to satchel me into the space. I mean, it is 8 in the morning, so like, I get it. He's just gonna stay up there, 100%. Need to get another angle. Wait, that was... That's 100% his friend. 100%. He probably went to get more boom. He's stashing it. He has to have been, right? He has to have been stashing. I knew it. I mean, this is not enough to raid these guys. Ooh, actually need that. I'm gonna finish this raid. I'm gonna go home and grab some more satchels. I need two more satchels and I can finish this one door. Then we'll see.
could finish this raid. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna finish this raid. I'm hoping that I will get a lot of resources from these guys. Like they have a huge base, so I'm hoping that they have like a box. Like the best thing I could get, I don't care about getting explosives, okay? I can farm sulfur. But if I could get like a box and a half of stone, oh, that would be literally the best thing ever. So we're gonna need... This should be enough. To finish the raid. Okay, one more C4. Well, we have enough gunpowder and explosives to raid the rest of the bases on this island, but they didn't get much stone. I finished most of the wall, and then it was time to raid the last two bases on the island.
Well, as far as loot comes, it's very underwhelming. Then, with all the resources from these raids and with a bit more farming, I was able to finish the compound. Okay, this should be the last of the walls. Then we will be completely finished walling in this entire island and it will be mine. All the bases on this island are gone. And I will be the only one living on it. It's been a grind. So day 3 I started playing at 1pm. And it is now 1pm on day 4. I am exhausted and I can't wait for this to be over. Fuck, why doesn't that render in? Okay, whatever, it's it's walled off. So this entire island is now walled in and every single base except my friends over there are raided. This is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. Like just mentally. I've spent so much time. So many nodes have been farmed. So much wood have been traded in our post. But we are finally finished. Oh. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out my PC in the link in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe and join my Discord server. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.